Now, I know I've already filmed a video about the uh, G.I. Joe 6-inch classified series, um, but that video dropped a while ago and it was a I talked about the first wave of figures. And fairly recently, we've had the news that there are some, I think they're Target exclusive, Cobra Island figures. So I'm going to discuss these in the video today and also talk a little bit about Hasbro's marketing. So uh, stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey, toy fans. My name is Tony and welcome to Analog Toys, where we're obsessed with bringing you the history of vintage toys and action figures. Now, in the last G.I. Joe Classifieds video where I talked about the first wave, I was not overly impressed with these figures. Snake Eyes was okay. Uh, at the time, I was only aware of Duke, Roadblock, and Scarlet, and I didn't like any of those three figures. And since dropping that video, we then had Destro. Destro was a pretty cool looking figure. We've now had the announcement of these, I think they're Cobra Island um, figures. Exclusive figures, I believe exclusive to Target maybe this time, where the three and three quarter inch retro collections are Walmart exclusive. Why does Hasbro just keep making everything exclusive and hard to get? It's, it's frustrating. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about that in the, in the moment, but let's first of all discuss these new figures that have come out. So Hasbro are offering us three more figures. We've got Beachhead, we've got the Cobra Trooper, and then an exclusive of Roadblock. Once again, I don't really like Roadblock, and it's his weaponry that puts me off. The actual figure, I think, is, is pretty decent. Beachhead I like, and... I am quite impressed with the Cobra Trooper. The Cobra Trooper does look really good. So they're the three boxed figures that we get, and then we get a Baroness with a vehicle, which I think is called the Cobra Coil, this uh, sort of red sleek motorcycle. Again, the Baroness figure is excellent. I'm not too sold on this Cobra Coil motorcycle vehicle, but as you can see in this image here, the Baroness does look pretty awesome riding this thing wearing um, that sort of black cobra sold uh, motorcycle helmet. So for this new wave, we've got the three single boxed figures and then we've got the Baroness box with the vehicle. And yet again, we just have another recolor, reimagining of an already existing figure. So let's count this down. Let's have a look at every G.I. Joe Classifieds product that Hasbro has announced to date. In total, we've had 17 products announced. Uh, some have already come out, some are on their way. 17 different products. But when you look at it closely, so we've had two versions of Snake Eyes, we've had an exclusive and then a general release, which even the general re release are hard to find because of Hasbro's poor distribution. But we've had two Snake Eyes, we've had two Roadblocks, one of which is an exclusive. We've had two Destros, one of which is an exclusive and three, count them three, Cobra Commanders. Again, one of which is an exclusive. So out of 17 new products, we've actually only had 12 different characters. And rather than just giving us these consistent recolors and, and different decos of, of the figures, Hasbro, why aren't you just giving us new characters? Those are five slots that could have gone to amazing new characters, but you're cheaping out here. That's, that's what's going on, you're cheaping out. You're taking figures that you've already put the, the tooling budget into and then just repainting it in the hope that people are gonna buy the different variations. And this is my real issue with Hasbro's, not only their distribution, but their marketing as well. The vast majority of what they bring out is always an exclusive, a store exclusive, or a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, or whatever it is. They are exceedingly difficult to get. They sell out as soon as they're announced. Collectors want these products, but Hasbro isn't making it easy for us to get them. Now, I do like some of these classified series figures. The three and three quarter inch retro collection, garbage, get rid of it. Um, but compared with my original thoughts in the first video about the classified series, my opinion is beginning to change because some of the figures that are coming out, certainly recently, have been quite impressive. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get into collecting this because some of them are good and, and some of them are really bad and it's too scattershot for me. But because Hasbro has no other real action figure manufacturer out there to compete with, 
they've got the market share, they are underproducing every single product that they make, certainly for GI Joe. They are underproducing, meaning that everything sells out and a lot of it gets purchased by scalpers. Now these scalpers then turn around a week or so later, put all this stuff on eBay for double or triple the price. Hasbro's strategy is enabling these duplicious toy sellers to profit off of their poor marketing concept. The anti-repro crowd hate the fact that companies like the Fan Strike Back and Stan Solo are making money off Hasbro's IP. And yet they don't seem to care that the scalpers are doing exactly the same thing because I potentially think that a lot of these anti-repro toy sellers are probably scalpers as well. Because Hasbro has the market share, they own the G.I. Joe license and they're the only people putting this product out there, G.I. Joe fans will still buy this stuff. But they are taking advantage of us. We should all be able to walk into toy stores and pick these up straight off the shelf. But because they underproduce everything so that everything sells out, so that they don't have any wasted product, customers are getting very, very frustrated. But because the scalpers keep buying stuff, and Hasbro are selling their product, they're gonna to continue to sell product the way they do. But Hasbro, you are upsetting your customer base by this marketing strategy that you're employing. I want G.I. Joe to be alive on toy stores. I really do, I love this franchise. Stop making all these different exclusive, give us general release products and provide them in quantities that the customers desire. Get your act together, Hasbro. Get your act together. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out our first video about the G.I. Joe Classified series, you can click right here. Or to check out our Toy Histories episode where we cover the development of the entire G.I. Joe toy line, you can click right here. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle.